Hello everybody uh, Today... Can you see all the stores? <laughs> uh, sorry Today I'm going to be putting my manga Well, two of the series that I collect in manga The rest's in the spare room My two most important sets of manga I'm putting them back on my shelves So I thought that'd kind of be like an easy video to do and thought it might be relaxing to see me organise it and put it all in a special place <laughs> uh, Okay, so I'll change the angle and then we'll get started Okay, so these are the shelves that I'm going to be putting my manga on There's three shelves um, made of MDF and I actually made these at school in um, was it year 11 or something? I did um, technology, like the practical one and um, there was only me and one other girl in the class but I kind of preferred it that way they've got these long wiggly sides that go like this at the side and I painted them pink and purple to match my room but I'm going to be redecorating my room soon so I might change the colour so what's going on the top shelf and probably some of the second shelf is my black butler which if you're new to this channel <laughs> welcome first of all um, black butler or kuroshi sushi is my most favourite thing ever I think I think it might top Buffy I'm not sure but anyway it's about um, a young boy called CL Phantom Hive and his butler Sebastian Michaelis and Sebastian just happens to be a demon wow <laughs> So I've got them all in this box next to me This is Meirin, she is the maid and she's a badass uh, She may seem like a bumbling idiot but she's actually really cool And I will be kind of briefly flicking through them so if you haven't read up to the latest physical English publication And you don't want spoilers then maybe click away or like close your eyes when I do this so we'll see what number oh my goodness they're all numbered with um, Roman numerals so we'll see how good I am with that I think that's 22 we hope so I'm assuming that's gonna go down here somewhere so we'll put it here for now here we have Lao. I will do a more in-depth video of like my black butler collection because I've got other books and figurines and stuff it'll be like a um a Jin's obsessions video do you remember them? I did like a Ninja Turtles one but yeah this is Lao and he is from China and he sells drugs Um, this um, is the book of murder kind of arc and it's one of my favourites <laughs> there is an anime special of it and I definitely recommend it even if you haven't seen the rest of the series it's definitely worth a watch so this is number four is it? No, it's number nine. Idiot. Number nine. Okay. I think that might fit on the top shelf. Here we have 
bad or bald right? It depends where you read it or how you read it. Um, what they're called. Or what he's called, I should say. You'll probably notice that none of the spines are bent on these either. I don't break the spines on any of them. I think it might be this one where Sebastian cries, I'm not sure. They go into this like, um, forest. And there's some weird thing going on. Oh my god, look at Seal's dad, look how fit he is. This is just me flicking through now, I don't... Yeah, maybe not in this one. Anyway, what number are we on? 21. So that goes in front of this one. Um, Finny! Look how beautiful Finny is, he's so cute. I really, really want to cosplay him. I don't know in what outfit, but... I want to go split Finny, because he's so cute. I love Finny. Okay, it's decided right now that I'm going to cosplay him. <gasps> Should I cosplay him? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> I love um, that the cover then has it inside as something different. So it says Black Exorcist, so he's like dressed different inside. This is a really early one, I think. Oh no, it's it was just dreaming. I love it. 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 <laughs> this was a bad video to make because I'll just be here all day. Can we please take a look at this horse? Gosh. This is number 20. So that goes there. I think it was this year that Black Bull is into its 10th year of publication. Yana Toboso is the mangaka. Is that the right word? Yeah. This is someone whose name I can't remember. she's female and I never remember the girl characters. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ew, please, that's horrendous. <gasps> this might be the one. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He's crying. How cute. And this is number... What number is that? 10 one ten. Is that 19? Oh lord, I don't know. Now we have to find out what happens in the story. Is this afterwards? Yeah, this is afterwards, so I'll put it here for now, even though I'm not really sure what number that is. Ronald. This is Ronald Knox. He is a Shinigami or Grim Reaper. All of the Reapers wear glasses and have really bad eyesight, and they all use a gardening tool for a death side. So Ronald's is a lawnmower. This is actually my favourite arc. It is the Book of Atlantic. Um, they go on a ship and there's zombies. Yes. 
and that's also being made into an anime film as well and it is amazing oh my good lord mainly because of wet sebastian yeah <laughs> this is number 12 so we'll try this on the top shelf oh my lord i just killed everybody this is also from the book of atlantic this is lizzie uh, Lizzie Midford, she is CL's fiance, and she may seem like a, a weak, innocent little girl, but she's actually a total badass. If I can find her badass, it might be the last shot. Maybe not. Is this not even the Book of Atlantic Arc? Oh, it is, yeah. Just Lizzie being generally awesome in everywhere. And this is number 13. Here we have Cutie Pie. Shiel Phantom Hive. Look at him, 13 year old little monster. <laughs> oh, Agnes in this one and Prince Soma. So this is number 18. I think that's right. Shall we put it down here? Another one of my favourite arcs is the Book of Circus. That's also been made in an anime series. And it's just so pretty. I actually cosplay um doll from this. And she is a tightrope walker. And Sebastian gets busy in this one, I'm sure. <laughs> Why is that the only bit I remember? Can't even find doll, but never mind. I want to find doll. I really want to cosplay beast as well, but um, I don't want to quite have the assets for it. Shall we say? This is number six. Wait, what number was this? Nine. Here we have, I think, are they both called Philip? I don't remember, oh my goodness, that's so bad. Again, this is Book of Murder. Snake! Snake talks through his snakes. That sounds really weird if you haven't read it. is number 11. I think this is the most recent one I got. Yeah, number 24. Look how pretty. Um, and Sebastian got all dressed up in this one. She tried all sorts of outfits on him and my heart exploded. Number 24. This is Lizzie's brother, whose name has flown away from my brain. What's it called? Oh, this is the 
arc where they go to like this posh school and try and infiltrate the school. Sebastian's like a professor there. I wasn't that keen on this arc, I must be honest, but I still oh, I absolutely love it. When he picks him up, I can't take it. Look at him, he's like a delivery boy. So cute. And this is number, what did I say? 27. No, not 27, 17. Since when they like just met Agni and Soma. Look how different Sebastian is in the earlier ones. And this is number five. Good lord. seen a few different spoilers online. I should really just read it online and buy it but I like to read it when I've got it in my physical hand. I just get so excited about it. says it in here but in the anime he just says <laughs> simply one hell of a deer and it's amazing uh this is a number four look at this beautiful young man he'd be really cool to cosplay as well like a little talker. The, the number 23. So 21, 22, 23. Number 3. Oh, there's William. William T. Spears, one of the Grim Reapers. The art looks so different in the earlier ones. Madame Red, Undertaker. And here we have the first ever copy of Black Butler. I really want to get a tattoo based on one of these things in the corner of the manga. Sebastian looks so different. He looks like way nicer now. But it's just like holding your style, isn't it? I love that where he's hanging upside down on the light. And when they shoot him and he just gets back up. It's like, yes. I am a devil of a butler. Number 
volume two. CL dresses up as a little girl to try and get into the Viscount's ball in lieu of the mouth. The little chippy versions. <laughs> That's so funny. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Need some in there. If you haven't read manga before as well, it opens the opposite to how um, western books open and you read right to left instead of left to right Nicked Harry Potter's Owl It's really cool there's a really lovely easter egg at the end where, um, at the end of Book of Murder, where the young author who's been there is this really famous author. I'll not spoil it, but it's so clever. What number is this? Number 10. Wow, that's a gorgeous cover. Uh, that's Prince Soma. I love the servants so much, they're so funny. <laughs> His character design is really cool as well. to fit in here. Seven, eight, there's thirteen. I think it might fit. Oops, that's the wrong one. Oh, William's on the front of here with his, um, what is this thing called that he has? It's like a gardening tool, but I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, this is absolutely awesome as well. It's in um, the Book of Circus, where the circus people come to attack the manor. But little do they know, the Phantom Hive servants are more than they see. Alder had blown stuff up as usual. This is number eight. Look at Professor Simas. I really hope you can hear the flipping of the pages. I love how he thinks he's like a big brother too. <laughs> how cute. How cute. Um. Circus. Oh, there's Doll on the back. That's who I cosplayed. I 
don't know if you can even see it. But it's such a, just a pretty arc because of the setting and it's really creepy as well. It's Christ, that's horrible. Number seven. fights with Undertaker. It's amazing. It's just so good. And how he's actually worn out at the end and it's like, oh my goodness, he can get worn out. Look, kawaii. He's got his little rabbit ears on. This is number 14. Well, I actually have the entire collection of this one, um, and it is Orin High School Host Club, and if you read it, it will pull out your soul and, like, wear it as a necklace. It's such a funny series and so cute, and I'm totally obsessed with the Hitachin twins, Hikaru and Kaoru. And it's a really awesome anime series, and I don't know why it didn't get a second season. <sighs> yes, so this is number nine. I won't go through this in as much detail. Um, but I will tell you that it made me cry. <laughs> the very last one made me cry. Oh my goodness. Look how thick this is. Oh, this is the final volume. That's really sad. Honestly, an amazing series. Definitely read it if you get the chance. Sixteen. Uh, so, I'll tell you what it's about. It's about a girl named Haruhi, who is quite poor, and she goes to this prestigious school, and stumbles into this room where she knocks over a very expensive vase and there's these really hot young men in there who say she has to work to pay back money to pay for the vase whilst pretending to be a boy because these boys are in like the host club so if you've heard of hosts in Japan it basically is men who women pay to go and talk with and be kind of flirty with. So. Tamaki is the kind of leader, the hot blonde guy. see my legs now, sorry. 
number 15. I forget everyone's names, that's so bad. Why have I forgotten his name? Kyoya, that's it. Kyoya. There's um Is that Higuru or Kaoru? Oh my goodness, I'm not sure. One of them shouting his name. How pretty though. And it's hilarious as well. There's Tamaki and Haruhi. I'm trying to remember who's who. I think that's Kaoru and that's Hikaru, I think. Because they part the hair on different sides, but it's still very confusing. And there's love triangles and humour and awesomeness. Here they are, the beautiful little twins, my favourites. As you can see, I'm a cheapskate and got three for two on a lot of these. <laughs> Depending on who you ship or whatever, it'll really um, mess with you. <laughs> so if you enjoy that kind of thing, read these. Here we have Honey and Mori. Honey is actually, I think he's the oldest in the whole horse club. Um, this is his bunny. And this is his cousin. God, I haven't read it in ages. Um, Mori, who is super tall and very stoic, but very cool. And he takes care of Honey. I ship it, don't tell anyone. It's totally sweet. <laughs> Number four. Those pesky twins again, and Tamaki. It's definitely worth getting them in like physical form just for the extra things you get. Like, sometimes there's coloured pages and things and well just to have them like to put on my shelf. I just love it. Kyoya, Mori, and Honey on this one. Number 12. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, who is that? He looks so ill. Oh, it's Kyoya because he is me. <laughs> Waking up on a morning. Just to know. This is me. That's how I wake up every day. <laughs> Number 12. Ni. I should have said it all in Japanese to practice. Wow! <laughs> Please look at this panel. Look at 
Look at this guy's face. Who is that? Is that to Maggie? I don't think so. It's some crazy person. Again, like Black Butler, the first few issues, the art is so different. I've got a really bright light and I keep looking right into it so I can't see anything. This is the first issue. I'll show you breaking, show her breaking the vase. Oh, she goes into the music room, that's right. And they're all there, like, what up? It's me, your boy, Haruhi. Suzu, no, that's a different Haruhi. What the hell's her name? It should say, she should introduce herself, surely. Fushioka, that's it. Haruhi Fushioka. And she's a cutie pie. And I love how everyone realises she's a girl and it takes Tamaki so long. <laughs> guy who likes her as well. It's a random guy. <laughs> Maury's face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Number eight. I can go in there. I'm reading Silver Diamond at the minute. Um, yeah, I don't know why I randomly said that, but there you have it. Ooh, look at him. I think he's a, a random guy who wanders in looking for his daughter or something. And is that right? The shock on his face. I'm sorry. Okay, number 10. I can't feel my left foot because I've been sitting funny. Twins. What's the word for twins? Is it food? More beautiful artwork. Oh, look at that robot Mori. <laughs> Cute. See, there's extra things in the back, like the Hitachi family back. Number seven, Nana. I'm definitely going to read all these again. Oh my goodness, don't cry. <laughs> so sad. I can't take it. Gosh. Poor Hikaru. Just 
so that's everything. Well, not really. That's my two main ones. Oh look, I've got a space. I might just have to fill that up with something. Uh, all my other manga is in the other room, so if you want to see that in another video, I will. And I'm going to do a separate Black Butler collection video as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye bye.